buddy. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> What's your Sean and I were actually able to get the Jeep running, but uh, it has a few problems. After we got it running, it kind of just sounds like crud now. Like the engine just sounds like it's about to fall apart. It's really weird, just all simultaneously stuff happened. My brakes are practically not even there anymore. Like I press on them and they're just really soft. They feel like they need bled really bad, which is weird that that would happen out of nowhere. Also my idler pulley has been apparently the victim of what's squealing and it's about to pop off. So I got that right here. Idler pulley to pop on the Jeep. And then there's a couple other things that are causing issues. The main reason it wasn't starting was because of this tiny little wire that connects to the alternator. And I guess it was getting a bad ground, so it was just causing the whole thing to be jacked up. So we're gonna have to fix that, get it to have a better connection, and then after that, she should be mint. Oh, also it's my birthday. check this out after Sean showed up he was able to help me get stuff figured out take the idler pulley off and the thing just exploded look at this that's the bearing and it literally just it like melted and everything got it all hooked up afterward he tried to help me bleed the brake and the thing is is apparently they are bled which I thought they were because I did it myself and I know how to bleed brakes and Sean checked them and same thing, there's no air in the lines, at least not that we can find. And it just, the brakes are really spongy and I don't know why. It, the fluid is clean, they're all bled, they're all in good condition. It's really like a mystery to both of us, we have no idea what's going on. Hopefully we can figure it out because it's not the safest situation. So, there wasn't a lot that happened today, mostly what I showed you guys and I haven't been filming that much because of just trying to get everything you know, figured out. I'm not really sure how the conversation came up, but Sean's mom was nice enough to offer for me to go over to their house and have dinner. Sean already left. I'm supposed to be there like in 10 minutes and it's like 20 minutes away, so I'm about to head out. But I just wanted to hurry up with this and finish off this video. You know, being away from home, I knew that I was going to, you know, not be able to have the opportunity to do as much stuff like this, especially on my birthday. So it was really nice of her to offer to cook dinner for me. And on top of this, I have had a few people who actually sent me money. Most of them are already people who support me and they know who they are and they have already helped me tremendously with this trip. And the support they're giving me is actually the only thing that's keeping me on the road right now. On top of just being a financial help, it's also just a motivational help that people really want to see me succeed on this journey and are willing to put in their own hard-earned money to help me get back on the road, get the Jeep running, you know, and just make this whole dream possible. In return, I really hope that I can create content that you guys will enjoy, even better, hopefully meeting some of my supporters one day and, you know, just continuing to grow and learn on this journey. I just wanted to thank everybody who supported me up until this point and anybody who's going to support me in the future. If you would like to help support me, I have links down below on ways you can help me. If nothing else, just comment down below. Your words always mean so much to me to see you guys wanting to help and 
being an encouragement to me. So that's all I wanted to say. I got to run over to Sean's parents' house. Apparently he, his mom made tacos. Tacos are amazing. Super excited. Supposedly his parents aren't really big about being on camera. That's why Sean hasn't showed them on camera. So I might not be able to film that much of it. I want to respect them in their house. But aside from that, guys, ready to go. I'm ready to go. Sun's going down. Let's go. So what's up guys? Uh, Sean and I finished up dinner with his parents. The tacos were amazing. And then after that, ran to a coffee shop. Finally got that video uploaded. I've been trying to get the video uploaded all day, but if you don't have good Wi-Fi and you're not able to just sit down and focus on editing, it really makes daily vlogging pretty difficult. I'm not complaining though, still got it uploaded. Just got it uploaded a little late. So after that, um, both of us needed a shower. Also decided it'd be better just to get a quick workout in. So ran down to the Anytime Fitness, just got done working out. It's been a pretty eventful day. Sean's parents were super nice people, had a great time with them. They let Kai go inside and be his regular ambunctious self. And then also, I guess this was a secret from me, but uh, Sean's mom actually made me a birthday cake, so that was pretty cool. Got a birthday cake, got some good tacos, super nice people overall, a great time. I also got spoiled a little, cause Sean's mom bought Sean and I matching flannel coat things. These things are awesome. It's got this like fuzzy lining inside, super warm, super cozy, super stylish. So now me and Sean look like a matching gay couple, but aside from that, super awesome. Thank you so much for the presents and the cake and the tacos. They were all fantastic. Really meant a lot to me. And I, overall, I think I had a pretty great birthday. Anyway, that's going to be all for today, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.